Hi everyone. Thanks for tuning back in. Um, so I know I haven't posted anything in quite a while and, um, there's been a reason for that. Uh, a lot of you might be asking, well, what happened to the beard? I know it's, uh, it's gone. I've got back down to the goatee for right now, but, um, what happened to the beard is I was forced to shave because I have been diagnosed with squamous cell carcinoma of the tonsil. So <laughs> one of the reasons why I haven't uh, posted anything in a while is because I've been dealing with that pretty heavy news. Um, let me start from the beginning. First of all, <clears throat> first of all, thanks for uh, tuning in. Uh, I appreciate all the support. I'm going to try and be as, as transparent in this whole thing as possible for everyone. Uh, I'm going to do as little bit of editing, as little edi editing, excuse me, as you can see I'm stumbling through things, uh, as possible. Just because I want to share this experience with everyone. I want to be able to reach out to others who are going through the same thing and hopefully provide a, a bit of support, uh, a uh, beacon of hope, so to speak, uh, for anyone that's, that's going through this. So it started about nine, ten weeks ago, something like that. I woke up in the morning, had a really bad sore throat. And um, it's normal for me to have a sore throat when I wake up because I snore. Those of you who have been to my house know uh, <laughs> when I fall asleep, uh, you, you can tell. It sounds like a grizzly bear. So I didn't think much of it. Um, but it just wouldn't go away. And my ear really hurt. I had a lot of ear pain. And so I went to the doc and the doc's like, oh, you might have strep throat and an ear infection. Let's go ahead and take care of that. Gave me some antibiotics, and they didn't work, obviously. Uh, so he's like, okay, well, let's go ahead and get you some prednisone. So I took some prednisone, and uh, after the course of prednisone, still was no improvement. So at that point, things started getting a little bit serious, and I uh, went in for an ultrasound on my neck, right up here. And they found some lymph nodes that were suspicious. So they sent me right back the very next day and I had a, a CT scan then. And that's when they found a tumor about the size of a ping pong ball right back here. So I can't explain to you, if you've never been there, I can't explain to you the way that the words, you have cancer, affects your life. Everything stops. Everything comes to a grinding halt. For me, at least, I couldn't eat. I couldn't concentrate on my work. I couldn't think of anything other than get this crap out. I want it gone. Uh, there were a lot of tears shed. There was a lot of what if. There was a lot of I hope I'm around next year. So um, after I was diagnosed, and they found out that, you know, it was cancer. I went through a whole heck of a lot of tests and a whole heck of a lot of poking and prodding. I went into the cancer center out at Anschutz Medical Center in Aurora, Colorado, and I got fitted for a radiation mask. Um, it's a mask that's, it's a hard mask that covers my head and over my shoulders to keep me right in the same spot so they can get the radiation concentrated right where it needs to go, right there. So, I got fitted for the mask, I had a CT scan done, or not a CT scan, a PET scan done, 
And uh, the good news about that is um, after all the scanning, the poking, the prodding, and everything, I don't have cancer anywhere else except for right here. It hasn't metastasized into my lungs. It hasn't metastasized into my kidneys. Uh, it, it's nowhere else in my body except right here. Now, <laughs> I've got to change, I've got to fix that, and I've got to get the radiation. Otherwise, I'm going to be really, really screwed. So, I guess in the grand scheme of things, I got pretty lucky. Um, <clears throat> so, anyways, got fitted for that radiation mask. They're going to do the radiation here. I got chemotherapy three times through this whole ordeal. And, um, yeah, I uh, just wanted to share my thoughts. Um, I wanted to take a few minutes real quick just to kind of document <clears throat> how I'm feeling. T today is my first day um, of treatments. So I start my radiation treatments today. And I'm scared. I'm scared to death of what could happen. But I've got to be strong and I've got to stay positive. I have an amazing wife who has been extremely supportive of me for everything that I've done in my life. But especially now, I've got a great group of friends who are there for me, offering rides, <laughs> cooking suppers, um, you know, anything that I might need. Uh, they're right there. My church, my church group, <laughs> I can't say enough about them. They have been fantastic. I know that there's going to be a time that I'm going to need each and every single one of them to help me out with something. And uh, I know that I can count on them to be there. So uh, that's a good thing. <clears throat> Excuse me. One of the biggest obstacles to people getting better is lack of support. Um, and I don't have that. I am very blessed uh, with the support system that I have. Um, yeah. So anyways, um, I just wanted to give you guys all an update about what's going on. Again, I'm going to be as transparent with this as I possibly can. I am going to try to vlog my experiences every day. I want you to understand that there might be some times that I can't, and that's okay. I will have some hard time speaking during the radiation process. I will have a hard time waking up. I'm going to be exhausted. I'm going to be tired. But I am going to commit to... vlogging my experiences, talking about what's going on, talking about what's happening, because I feel it's important that I help others going through the same thing that I'm going through. And this is the path that God has put me on. I feel that he's calling me to help other people and to be a beacon of positivity and hope for other people battling head and neck cancer. So, again, thank you so much for your support. I really would love to hear from every one of you guys. Um, I would love to read the comments um, and interact with you. Uh, if you have any questions, I am an open book. Please feel free to ask me any questions you want. Uh, feel free to uh, reach out and tell me your own story, 
you know, if you've survived this, uh, the, the same thing, uh, or if you're currently going through it, or if you've got a loved one that's going through it and you need a little help or you need a little pick-me-up, you need a little hope. Um, and that's what I hope to be for everyone. So uh, I guess I'll cut this uh, off right now. I, I have to get ready to, to go to my treatments. But uh, I just wanted to say I love you all. And I uh, hope to be talking to you again soon. Keep the prop side up. Later.